Hi, Julian. Uh, thanks very much for joining us for this discussion, quick discussion we're going to have over video here. Uh, so the reason I wanted to have a chat with you was to talk about high performance computing. Um, so if you could just give us a bit of an overview about yourself and, and what is parallel and high performance computing? Yeah, hi, George. Thanks for having me. Um, so whenever you think about a problem that you want to solve, we, we always would like to have the most accurate answer to that problem. And of course, we would also have this uh, answer fast. Yeah. In uh, current times, this of course means that uh, we usually solve those problems with computers. And um, if we want them more accurate and faster, we need more computing power. And uh, several years ago, we ran into a problem that uh, manufacturing a super powered CPU that you can just put into your desktop uh, is not feasible for physical and manufacturing uh, reasons. Uh, so we have to somehow get around that problem, and we do that by splitting up the problem in smaller parts, take those parts, uh, put them on different compute nodes or computers, solve the smaller parts on, on the computers, and then in the end put the whole uh, solution together into one final uh, solution and get our big accurate and uh, result in a reasonable amount of time. This is uh, parallel computing, and if you drive that further and further and use more compute nodes uh, and so on and solve bigger problems, you end up with high performance computing. And um, yeah, so that's what high performance computing is. Excellent. So, so in essence, what it does is it takes a large problem, a big problem, breaks it off into smaller chunks and solves all these smaller chunks at the same time so that you can get a, a, an accurate answer very quickly. Yeah. Excellent, that's useful. So in terms of high performance computing then, how does that link into what we do at Ingrid Cloud when it comes to computational fluid dynamics? So when you think about computational fluid dynamics, you probably think about a wind tunnel that you simulate. And so you have your car or your airplane in, in the wind tunnel and you would like to know what kind of effects are happening there. And you have very fine structures in there because you want to um, have more drag or whatever you, you would like to achieve. And, and this means the model you put in and the, the um, geometry that you, we want to simulate and gets bigger and bigger and more expensive to compute. So we, we need more compute power. And as I said before, um, we cannot do this on a desktop machine anymore or one computer. So we, we have to use high performance computing and bigger machines or supercomputers and clusters to, to solve those problems. Um, another um, um, application that you might think about is um, urban wind comfort, where you do not just want to simulate one house um, and how the effect is around this house, um, but you also would like to take into account what is the what does the area look like around, how is the the surface geometry look like um, to get the accurate answer how wind comfort is around your building that you want to build. Um, so the the model gets bigger. You need to simulate more and um, we need more computing power. And we at Ingrid Cloud, we, we tackle this problem by, with uh, a lot of smart um, algorithms that we have, and especially one of those is uh, the, the smart mesh refinement um, that uh, only refines the mesh in places where it's really needed. Um, this means we um, get the most accurate answer with as little computing power as necessary. Yeah. Excellent. That sounds good. And that, that's obviously a, a big selling point of Ingrid Cloud and something we're very proud of. Yeah. In terms of Ingrid Cloud and what we're doing when it comes to high performance computing, I know we're developing, we're always progressing, always moving forwards. Can you just talk a bit more about how we're contributing to the future of high performance computing? So all the, the software that we use at Ingrid Cloud is based on uh, one platform. This is uh, Dolphin. And it's uh, also based on, on the Phoenix platform, which is a, a large or open source uh, platform for solving partial differential equations. Um, it has a huge community and is developed by many people. And we at Ingrid Cloud, we develop uh, HPC branches of uh, many of those tools in the Phoenix project and especially Dolphin HPC, which is the foundation of our CFD solver. And um, all those um, tools from Dolphin and the, the Phoenix HPC branches, and they are all public, um, they are open source, uh, everybody can use them. 
And um, we're in contact with many researchers um, at universities who are also using uh, Dolphin HPC in, in their projects um, and also contribute uh, to the software together with us. OK, that's great. That's excellent. And I suppose it's worth mentioning that all of our latest contributions to the open source community will be made available in one of the comments towards the end of this post so people can check those out if they want to. So that, that's it's been great to have an overview with you, Julian. Thanks very much for the information. And, uh, and hopefully we'll speak again soon. Yeah, thanks very much. Excellent, thank you.